we're continuing our Columbus Day weekend celebrations. Mario Coppola from the Columbus Day Committee is back with us and joined by Chef Marcello Daddario from Lorenzo's Restaurant. Nice to have you here. This Thank smells you. delicious. Thank you very what much. What are we making here? That's cavatelli and broccoli wrap. That's a typical or traditional uh, um, Italian dish. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we serve this in the menu and uh, at our restaurant. You Very find nice. this in most restaurants, right? Most Italian restaurants, they will always have this. They should have. Yes. But I don't know if they have like a homemade cavatelli. Oh, that, that makes such a difference. That's what I you have. Tell you. <laughs> homemade cavatelli are the best. They are. They are really good. And why, and why is it, obviously I know why it tastes really good and it's homemade, but tell everybody why yours tastes so good. Well, you know what I mean, for many years we do that and then uh, eventually, you know what I mean, our food is really good. Yeah. And that's said, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and you're putting the cavatellis right on top right of that, there. huh? Right there. Right there. We just wait. And when you have six. homemade uh, macaronis, it takes a lot shorter to cook, doesn't it? <coughs> to boil in the water? Yeah, to just little, make sure you, the, the water is boiling. Okay. Just put a little pinch of salt, and they got to be like a three or four minutes after they start boiling. Then the, the cavatelli or the pasta that's going on top, even the gnocchis, you can do the same way. Okay. And then... Um, that's it. Just a little boil for three minutes. Well, Marcello, where do we start with the dish? What do sure. you do? What, what did you start with here? Okay, in the beginning, we just put some olive oil. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then um, I have the saltage already. Chop up. We put the saltage. Excuse me a minute. Okay. And then we, the next paste, we add some uh, broccoli wrap. We just pre-cooked the broccoli wrap before to take the bitter out. Thank Are you. using hot or sweet sausage? Does it not matter? Uh, doesn't matter, but usually I like a little hot. A little heat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you steam the broccoli, Rob, or did you did you, you got to steam the broccoli, Rob. Okay. And then now you got to saute. Okay. You got to leave it for saute. Okay. Just put a little high. to saute, <coughs> and then just... Add some salt. A little hot peppers. A hot pepper. Okay. And then that's a little secret. That's the white beans. You just put it in a little bit. And you just let it saute some more? Let it saute a little more. And... And then we add a little bit chicken stock. Very good. Now, while that's sauteing, Mario, let's talk about the big event. You have actually a lot of activities throughout the weekend. Yes. Um, <clears throat> starting with this evening, we're having our uh, annual Heritage Day dinner. Very good. And that's a big event for everybody to attend. Is, are there tickets still available for that? That event is actually sold out. It is sold out. Okay. Very and popular. what else do you have? And then on, <clears throat> on Saturday, we have a wreath ceremony taking place in New Haven. Um, at Worcester Square starting at 10 a.m. and followed by the, and culminating in our big event, the Columbus State Parade at 1 o'clock in uh, West Haven on the, on the corner of Captain Thomas Boulevard and Campbell Avenue. Right, All right. That's the central part of West Haven. Everybody knows where to go for that one. <laughs> so how's it going over here? Just Marcella. a couple, couple of moments. You have to let it sit? Done. You have to yes. let it saute? If you guys want to try, we have some already with this one. Wow. You know, That's I just prepared a little bit in advance. It is very easy. It smells okay. so good. Of course, we'll have this recipe okay. on our website. Of course. Right? Why not? Sure. Yeah, you're going to share with of everybody. Of course, yes. <laughs> well, okay. if we leave any. Just give me Should a we second. put this one? There you go. Dish. I'm going to show you. Grab some forks. All right, Mario, you're going to try this too, right? Sounds great, yeah. Okay. I'm going to just grab some forks here. There we go. And what are you going to top this with, Romano or Parmesan? No, 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 no. Come on. No? Nothing? I got to be. Of course, look. I got it in front of you. Okay. What I do is just Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. But it's better if you have a shitter. Ooh, I like wow. that much better than grated. Okay. About that's the much lemon? better than grated. The lemon I just put it before. Oh, you did it there. Okay. Then that's for decoration. And sometimes yeah. I have a twist. If you, like, if you like some red sauce, you can put a little touch of red sauce, tomatoes, and they come in... Uh, and what else can we do to this dish to make it even more interesting? What can we add to it? Well, uh, with that dish also, if you don't like the sausage, you can do it with the grilled chicken. Uh, that's very healthier, interesting. Sure. You can do it with the spinach. You can do it with artichoke uh, heart. And fun. also you can do it with the uh, arugula. The only thing with the arugula is a little bitter, the dish. But just add a little bit more uh, lemon juice and be all set. It'll be perfect. Yeah. Mary, can I ask you a question? How did Columbus Day become an Italian holiday? Well, because Christopher Columbus was from Italy, so that's generally how it's um, been There's some people tend to argue about that, but... Uh, <laughs> the, the Spanish might have paid for him, but he was uh, certainly... Uh, Cristoforo Colombo was from Italy, so it's uh, an opportunity to uh, celebrate our proud Italian-American community, especially here in the greater New Haven area. There are so many of us. Yeah. <laughs> how large? Yeah. I was just going to say, how large of a community are we talking about? 
um, here in the greater New Haven community. Yes. Um, proportionally, I think that um, our area might have as great a density of uh, people with Italian American ancestry as anywhere else in the whole country. So certainly, um, the holidays here takes on a little bit more importance than otherwhere in the country. So thousands. Definitely three out of four. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> You're so right, three out of four. Let's put the information up on the screen for the parade. It is this Sunday at 1 o'clock in West Haven. We'll have all the information at WTNH.com. Thank you both for being here. Do Thank you want to dig in? Let's dig in. Yes. All right, fantastic. All right, and coming up after you go, Mario. the break, Thank Stage 8, the musical duo Altered Addiction will be there. That's when we return. Don't go anywhere.